Hi, how are you? It's Dramson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we completed a fun quest called Welcome to the Machine, where we were a quest giver for a quest. Had a lot of fun doing that. We also completed Wailing Caverns once again. And today we are in Black Fathom Deeps. It's going to be our first time in this dungeon on the Goblin. Let's check it out. We have a few quests to complete. We have to get the Fathom Core. We have to slay some bosses. And... We need, yes, we have... So, well, yeah, just got to get that Fathom Core. I need to remember where the heck that is. I think that's in the water or somewhere like that. The other two quests are just boss quests. Go this way. Two-handed axe drop. Oh, this stuff's really good for us. We'll just greed roll it. And then we're going to swim over to the next... Is this where the boss is? Yeah, I keep tripping out thinking that this is Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery, there's a boss stuck here for the Black Fathom Deeps raid. I did that raid so many times. Let's do a few jumps. Oh my gosh. Classic me. What am I doing? I fell off, guys. Pull this guy, too. Oh, we'll get off the day soon. Can't believe we missed the jumps. How did we miss this one? Okay, yeah, we're going to make it, guys. Such a kind healer. Healing me up. After we made that mistake. <laughs> Failed the jump. Only done it a million times. But I guess it's been been a while since I missed it. Might as well slay these guys too, why not? Some more XP. Pretty good group doing some solid damage. We got an enhanced shaman, warlock, and a feral druid. I think it's a dest destruction warlock. There is Gamura. Shaman was pumping there for a second. I went in not in uh, defensive stance. My threat wasn't that high. It's like somebody leveled up and tortoise armor dropped. 189 armor, 9 stamina, increases dodge rating by 9. It's pretty good for tanking, but I don't really think it's for us. Guess we'll go this way. This is where a couple of the bosses are. Wish we had water walking. Oh. 
pulling all these crustaceans. <laughs> we don't have to pull them, but... What if they give us, like, a decent amount of XP? Flying through this place. Getting Nova is a, is a little annoying, but I think the, the, the healers are spelling it. Yo, the Murloc boss. Remember this boss being a pain in the raid. They did a good job in Season of Discovery with uh, the dungeons that they turned into raids. I enjoyed them. I thought they were fun. Let's see how many we can group up here. I don't think we'll pull the boss up. I don't think I did a good job. I think you can L I remember you can LOS just over here. I think. I'm gonna bring them all together. Just trying to get them all. Some of them are attacking the healer now. No one attacking me. It's getting a little wild. They're attacking the, the boss. Someone pulled the boss. That is wild, man. Finish him off, guys. Done over 10,000 damage. Sunder into this guy. Oh, mana for the healer. Keeping us up. Gotta let him... Gotta let him drink after that. Two-handed axe drop, 21 damage per second, 11 strength, 7 stamina. Don't really want it. Gave it to the lock. Got it. I think in 10 more levels, we will have dual specs, so maybe we'll check out arms soon enough. Let's let this healer get some mana back and then we'll, we'll go for a little little run to the next boss. That boss is really... I think that was like the hardest boss in the Black Fathom Deep's uh, Season of Discovery raid. Alright, now we go back here. I think there's a boss you forgot. Lady Saravis, damn it. Should have got her first before we did all that. Great healing by the, the healer really kept me up.
good time to check and see if we can track buffs. Keep groups together. Oh, my bad. Let's run into a group of back here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. He was right behind me anyways. Be all right. That guy attacking the healer? We'll die to the bleed. Let's keep going. I'll pull him off you. Is he on me now? Let me just kick it. Can we skin this guy? Probably too well. Maybe need a 120 skinning. Just skin. Gamura. But yeah, we should have done this boss first. I messed up. Oh. Try to keep this guy on us. And the Warlock gave us an unending breath, so we have underwater breathing. It's cool that Warlocks can do that. Gamma Ra was a tough boss, so. But pretty much all of them died in under like, a minute or two. Naga Battle Gloves dropped. 7 Agi, 7 Stamina, 73 Armor. Leather Gloves, pretty good for Barrel Druid. But the, the Shaman took him. He's the only one who need rolled it. Pretty good for Shaman, too. Okay, well, now we're going back to where we came. We completed a deep in the deeps. Now we just have Nightmare of the Deeps, where we slay the last boss, Akumai, and Amongst the Ruins, where we have to get the Fathom Core. But yeah, now that we're going back the same way, that just, we, just, we should have slayed this boss first. Totally forgot about it. It's funny because the Questy was telling us to go here, so I just follow Questy blindly. But it's all right. We're going pretty damn quick. It's only been like 15 minutes. And we've already slain majority of the bosses in the dungeon. And I like Black Fathom Deeps, man. It's cool. One thing I wish they did in Season of Discovery, though, is, is keep the old versions of the dungeons while also having the raids as well. It would be cool if you were able to do both. It's one thing I didn't like about Season of Discovery, like, because if you... All the dungeons they turned into raids kind of took away the old dungeons from the game. So you can't really do this version of Black Fathom Deeps in Season of Discovery. 
I still have my pallet in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll hop on him eventually. He's 54. It would be fun to, to check it out again. Still a few more phases to go. I don't know if that's is that the Warlock's Reign of Fire. It is, yeah. Let's make sure he's staying with that Mr. Warlock. We're okay. Pick up another quest just up here. I think this is a, a Cataclysm only quest. Pretty sure. I don't remember this being in any yeah, the enemy of my enemy, cult of sacrifice, power, enemy awakened, old god imprison me. This is actually the toughest one. Lord yeah, Twilight Lord Carolers was the toughest boss in all of uh Black Fathom Deep's raid. Yeah, he was pretty damn tough. But I remember dying to the Murloc boss more. <laughs> or just having to move around more. Because of all the little Murlocs charging your way. It's Fathom of the Deep. Deep is down here, right? Yeah. So we'll go pick that up. a pretty big pull here, but I think we'll just do four at a time. Fathom of the Deep is down here. And you just get it after. Should I get it now? Leveled up, level 26. And we are going to learn hand strength. Nice. Just want to see if you can find Fathom of the Deep. It's supposedly just down here. Isn't it? There it is. My bad. And the druid needed it as well. I might as well just get it now. Swim back, I think, though. 
We're getting attacked by Baron Aquanus. I think we have to fight him. Yeah, we have to fight him. I'll try to... Can I charge now? We're in combat, damn it. Shaman completely wrecked him. I think we have this underwater breathing spell as well. It's helping out quite a bit. To really worry about our breath while we're down here. Oh, that was good. Got that quest done. Does so much damage, Shield Slam. <laughs> I remember. I think it gave. It was also a kick. It silenced the enemy as well in in vanilla. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the healer put a marker on me. <laughs> Been running around a lot. Keeping track. It's a good way to keep track of the tank. It's just to put a marker. It's good to even have markers on healers too, because then you keep track of where the healer is so you don't you know line of sight. <laughs> Miss heals. See if we can actually pull a big pull here. We're not gonna pull Calrus, but we're gonna pull this. See how this goes. It's another one. Here, I think he's on me. Yeah, we're doing some tons of damage. It's great. Yeah, no one's really taking damage. Everything's just getting pretty wrecked. Who dares disturb my meditation? Damn it. He's carrying my abilities. Carrying quite a few of my abilities. I need to get my head up. And the gaze dreamer pants dropped. 66 armor, 5 stamina, 11 intellect, 4 spirit cloth pants. There we go. Now we have the head of Calrus. And now it is time to fight Gazrilla. We have to do this still. To light the fires. And all these elementals are coming to attack us. I'm gonna try to pull them all at once. Boom. Oh. Oh, I should have waited. Get another thunderclap. Oh well, man, we're in trouble. Big heals. Big heals, guys. The thing, though, is we can spam Victory Rush, and that'll just keep us up. Well, a little bit. It's mostly the healer keeping us up, but Victory Rush helps. All right, the Pagan Mitts of the Whale dropped. 40 armor, 4 stamina, 3 spirit cloth gloves. So much rage. Pull him 
him with the boss. No. I wanted to pull him with uh, Rend up so I could get Rend up, up on the boss fast. So I could just thunderclap and then Rend would be on the boss. Really cool you can do that in Cataclysm. Akamai's a cool fight, too. I think Season of Discovery was... It was a success, especially in Phase 1. Phase 1 was awesome. Moss Clinch Trapped. 65 armor, 5 stamina, 8 intellect. Leather Waste. Not for us. So that is most of the quests there. We're going to run back and turn them all in. At least that one, and then we'll teleport out of the dungeon and then teleport back in. Should get quite a bit of XP in turning in all of these quests. Not too many upgrades today, though. Maybe we'll get some from the quests, I hope. Here, we'll do a little... go <laughs> so that'll be the thumbnail all right let's do a little rocket jump mate let's see if we can get onto that rock yeah perfect Oh, gotta love it. <laughs> I had to pull something. Get him down. A little more XP, guys. The healer was with me. Pretty good group, man. The healer was doing great. Revenge reward. The flaming eradicator appears to concentrate. I spare your life for your help, goblin. Leave now before I change my mind. Okay. Let's teleport out of the dungeon. We'll teleport back in, turn in the rest of the quests. I don't think we'll get a level from this, though. The beast is slain. I can feel his dark presence fading away forever. Cool shield here. Yeah, this is an upgrade. The shield's an upgrade. Shield against the evil presence. 891 armor, 6 strength, 6 stamina shield. It's level 28, though. So we, we can't put it on yet. Or can we? Never mind. Maybe it's just item level. Yeah, it's item level. <laughs> My bad. Looks kind of cool. Pretty cool shield. Amongst the ruins. Have you been successful in locating the Fathom Core? Without it, we'll have no idea what the Childlight's Hammer is exactly up to down there. This is exactly what I need. A Fathom Core is an incredible well of information that we will be able to draw much good from. Whatever the Twilight's Hammer is up to in there, and believe me when I say it is no good, my comrades and I will now uncover. You've done well. Here today, the Earthen Ring looks upon you warmly for assisting us. You also helped the Horde as a whole. And for that, you should be proud. Be seeing ya. How are you? And I can hear their cries from here. Maybe this will show them how foolish it is to wish for the return of an old god. Bye bye now. There we go, GG. Yeah, GG's. Cheer for the healer. All right. Pretty 
Pretty cool healer, man. Helped us the entire time. Like, I, uh, I had no worries. Heck, <laughs> ever. Even when I did, did like, stupid pulls. Alright, so we got Hamstring now. Maims the enemy. Reducing movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. And we also have Cleave. A sweeping attack that strikes the target and a nearby ally. Dealing 115 physical damage. So that'll be great for AoE. So we'll use that quite a bit. Well, when, when we have, like, you know, Rage to, to, to dump, it's a Costs quite a bit of rage, right? 30 rage, yeah. That is kind of expensive. And then hamstring, we have to be in battle stance. And I'll put that there. And let's see how we did with... Oh, the Merc Sword sold. That's five gold. Nice. Making some coin, guys. We're already at 26... Well, 34 gold. Not too shabby. She want to go back to the trainer quick. And see if we can get dual spec. I think that's 10 gold, right? I think you get that at 30. If I'm not mistaken. No, we don't have it. So we'll get dual spec soon. I think it's coming at 30. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, I'll try to get us into either the Stormwind Stockade or Gnome Ragon. Gnome Ragon would be awesome. Weird how, like, we leveled up and now we can't do um, Black Fathom Deeps, but we can still do Shadow Fan Keep. That's weird. Maybe we'll do a random dungeon, see what we get. Maybe we'll get lucky. And get either stockade or normal gun. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. We got um, a little bit of gear. Well, really, we only got the shield. That got us up to item level 19. Our damage is almost at 100. We're at 74 to 98 damage. Yeah, and our defense is going up a little bit. At least we got 1D now, 1 defense. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's, we clearly need a little bit more hit rating. We are getting parried quite a bit. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.